This video will review how to perform muscle compartment pressure testing using a Centurion Compass device. Equipment. These are the essential elements to perform compartment pressure testing. To position the patient, have them lying supine with their legs straight out in front of them. There are four compartments of the leg, including anterior, lateral, superficial posterior, and deep posterior. The anterior compartment is found just lateral to the tibial spine. Find the tibia, approximately one third down the leg, and then palpate the anterior compartment about one centimeter lateral to the anterior tibial border. To find the lateral compartment, have the patient internally rotate their hip and palpate the fibular head at the lateral knee. Then slide down the leg approximately one third down the leg. The superficial posterior compartment is the easiest to find. This can be palpated in the middle of the calf. Again, approximately one third down the leg. The deep posterior is most reliably found by having the patient externally rotate their hip, then palpating just posterior to the medial border of the tibia. For the purpose of this video, we will be performing an intracompartment pressure measurement of the anterior compartment only. After identifying all four compartment sites, we recommend marking them with a surgical pen. Then prepare the skin with chlorhexidine. Draw up 1% lidocaine and infiltrate just the skin of the four testing sites to help provide anesthesia. Next, turn to preparing the intracompartment pressure device. To prepare the Centurion Compass device, take it out of the packaging and remove the lower lock end cap. Then, attach the 18 gauge needle to the distal end and the pre filled saline syringe to the proximal end. Flush with 1 cc of saline to clear the device and needle of any air. Lastly, turn on the compass device by holding the blue button on the side of the device for one second until it turns on and the screen reads double zeros millimeters. Insert the needle through the skin at a perpendicular angle. Advance the needle approximately two centimeters into the muscle. You may feel a pop as you pass through the skin and fascial layer into the muscle compartment. Then slowly inject a small amount of fluid, less than half a cc. This displaces fluid into the surrounding interstitium to help create a single continuous fluid column to the pressure device, thus allowing us to measure the pressure accurately. The pressure number may spike up, but will then taper off to an equilibrium. Record the number you think best reflects the equilibrium. Repeat this for all four compartments.